Good morning, Mrs. Graham, Sister Jean, Mrs. Sullivan, Mrs. Crystal, faculty, family, and the reason we are all gathered here today, the class of 2021. I'm incredibly honored to stand in front of you all today as a representative of the most amazing group of young women I know. Outspoken, intelligent, and kind beyond measure are just a few words that come to mind when I try to describe the class of 2021. However, today is a day that we celebrate not only who we are, but also how our high school experience has shaped who will we become. So, who exactly is the class of 2021? And who will its members be? In order to answer these questions, we must reflect on our past four years. The first thing everyone tells you freshman year is how fast high school is going to go. Believe it or not, time really does fly when you're having fun. And we have certainly had our fair share of that these past few years. From Nesquik Bunny visits during our first week of school to making ice cream in chem class, we've had our fair share of laughs, bringing us closer together as a class. While we have shared numerous similar experiences with classes who have come before us, Last March, the class of 2021's Sacred Heart experience became significantly different from those of our predecessors due to the onslaught of the current pandemic. I'd be lying if I claimed that this transition was easy. However, our joint desire to preserve the Sacred Heart we have always known and loved eclipsed the challenge that any physical degrees of separation presented. Not only did we get through the pandemic, but upon our return to Sacred Heart this past fall, we wasted no time serving as true leaders in our community to best restore the spirit of inclusive love, unity, and respect that we have all come to cherish. Our love for Sacred Heart and for each other allowed us to persevere even in the most challenging of times. While this love is strong, it does not change the fact that it is now the time to leave Sacred Heart and move on to the next chapter in our lives. While I know that many of us are excited about the new adventures awaiting us beyond this day, I'm confident that an equal number of us are unsure of exactly how to proceed. Although I certainly do not have all the answers, I believe that the formative experiences we have encountered at Sacred Heart may allow me to provide you with some direction. Yes, Shaw has certainly provided us with the academic basis for success, but the most important lessons I've learned at Sacred Heart have occurred beyond the boundaries of the predetermined curriculum. From my first drive past Sacred Heart Academy in seventh grade, I was intrigued by the signs lining Four Sisters Field, encouraging students to lead with heart. To be completely transparent, I was confused by the idea presented by this slogan. To me, a leader was many things, commanding, fierce, and formidable. But what did heart have to do with leadership? It is only after four years at Sacred Heart that I can finally answer this question that weighed upon my rather naive 12-year-old mind. The leadership demonstrated by my peers has allowed me to expand upon my definition of a leader. A leader is commanding, yet also compassionate. A leader is confident in her abilities, but also willing to ask for help. Most importantly, a leader is motivated not by external rewards, but by an internal desire to improve life for those around her. These are the leaders I have seen at Shaw, and these are the leaders I encourage you to continue to be. As Nelson Mandela said, a good head and a good heart are always a formidable combination. We have all the tools necessary for success by remembering to lead in all aspects of life with our hearts, nothing can stand in our way. That is how we proceed into the future, unknown as it may be. In answer to my initial questions, who exactly is the class of 2021 and who will its members become? I can say that the class of 2021 is a class of leaders and leaders of heart we will continue to be. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I can be relatively emotional. However, the tears now welling up inside of me are not tears of sadness, but of happiness, of pride, and of gratitude. Thank you to our families, namely our parents, who have given us the gift of attending Sacred Heart. 
We could not have done it without your unconditional love and support along the way. Thank you to our teachers, who have constantly reminded us we are capable of anything we set our minds to. It is thanks to you that mere academic interests have transformed into true passions. Thank you to our loving God, who has gifted us with countless blessings. Thank you to all those who perpetuate the mission of the Sisters of St. Joseph, grounding us in the tenets of unity, reconciliation, inclusive love, peace, and justice. And last but not least, thank you to the class of 2021. It has been a true privilege to know each and every one of you. I'm immensely proud of the work we've done thus far and cannot wait to see what the future holds for us. Congratulations. <laughs>